The Lord be with you. And welcome this morning to our Eucharist to celebrate St James Day. St James is one of the apostles with uh, his brother John and Peter and Andrew, one of those we read about in the Gospels, um, much closer to Jesus in some of those events when he takes those four away. Um, we'll hear how James and John uh, today ask Jesus for special places in heaven and uh, wanted to be closer to Jesus for eternity perhaps, but it was an overreach. Um, but we also know that uh, James was the first of the apostles to be martyred and that's recorded in Acts. So we remember a life of faith, uh, a real life with ups and downs, but a life of complete commitment to the way of Christ. From the second letter to the Corinthians, while we live, we are always be being given up to death for Jesus' sake, so that the life of Jesus may be made visible in our mortal flesh. We pray together. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you, and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. We are surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses. Let us then run our race, laying aside every weight and bringing our sins to the Lord in penitence and faith. Lord, we have sinned in thought, word and deed. Lord, have mercy. We are truly sorry, and we ask you to forgive us. Christ, have mercy. Help us by your Spirit to live in newness of life. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you your sins, and keep you in life eternal. Amen. O gracious God, whose apostle James left his father and all that he had, and without, without delay obeyed the call of your Son, Jesus Christ, pour out upon the leaders of your church the same spirit of self-denying service by which alone they have true authority among your people. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of Paul to the Corinthians. We have this treasure in clay vessels, so that it may be made clear that this extraordinary power belongs to God and does not come from us. We are afflicted in every way, but not crushed, perplexed, but not driven to despair, persecuted, but not forsaken, struck down, but not destroyed, always carrying in the body the death of Jesus so that the life of Jesus may be also be made visible in our bodies. For while we live, we are always being given up to death for Jesus' sake, so that the life of Jesus may be made visible in our mortal flesh. So death is at work in us, but life in you. Just as we have the same spirit of faith, that is in accordance with scripture, I believed and so I spoke, we also believe and so we speak. Because we know that the one who raised the Lord Jesus will also raise us with Jesus and will bring us with you into his presence. Yes, everything is for your sake, so that grace, as it extends to more and more people, may increase thanksgiving to the glory of God. For the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Our response to the psalm is... Those who sow in tears shall reap with shouts of joy. Those who sow in tears shall reap with shouts of joy. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, we were like those who dream. Then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with shouts of joy. Those who sow in tears shall reap with shouts of joy. Then it was said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us and we rejoiced. 
Those who sow in tears shall reap with shouts of joy. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the watercourses in the desert of the Negev. May those who sow in tears reap with shouts of joy. Those who sow in tears shall reap with shouts of joy. Those who go out weeping, bearing the seed for sowing, shall come home with shouts of joy, carrying their sheaves. Those who sow in tears shall reap with shouts of joy. Alleluia. I have chosen you from the world, says the Lord, to go and bear fruit that will last. Alleluia. The Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew, chapter 20, beginning at the 20th verse. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The mother of the sons of Zebedee came to Jesus with her sons, and kneeling before him, she asked a favour of him. And Jesus said to her, What do you want? She said to him, Declare that these two sons of mine will sit one at your right hand and one at your left in your kingdom. But Jesus answered, You do not know what you are asking. Are you able to drink the cup that I am about to drink? They said to him, We are able. Jesus said to them, You will indeed drink my cup. But to sit at my right hand and at my left, this is not mine to grant, but it is for those for whom it has been prepared by my father. When the ten heard it, they were angry with the two brothers. But Jesus said to them, You know that the rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, and their great ones are tyrants over them. It will not be so among you. But whoever wishes to be great among you must be your servant, and whoever wishes to be first among you must be your slave. Just as the Son of Man came not to be served but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. For the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Encouraged by our fellowship with all the saints, we make our prayers to our Heavenly Father through Jesus Christ our Lord. Father, your Son called men and women to leave the past behind them and to follow him as disciples in the way of the cross. Look with mercy on those whom he calls today and marks with the cross and makes his disciples within the church. Lord, in your mercy. Your son told his disciples not to be afraid and at Easter breathed on them with his gift of peace. Look with mercy upon the world into which he sent them and give it that peace for which it longs. Lord, in your mercy. Your son formed around him a company who were no longer called servants but friends. And he called all those who obeyed him as brother and sister and mother. Look at mercy upon our families, our friends, upon the communities in which we share. Lord, in your mercy, your son sent out disciples to preach and to heal the sick. Look at mercy on all those who need, long to hear the good news of salvation and renew among your people the gifts of healing. We continue to pray for those fighting the COVID virus, those researching vaccines and cures. We pray your blessing on their efforts. We pray for our hospital systems. We pray for those on our Cathedral and St Peter's Hamilton prayer list. Lord, in your mercy, your son promised to those who followed him that they would sit on thrones judging the 12 tribes of Israel and would share the banquet of the kingdom. According to your promise, look with mercy on those who have walked with Christ in his life 
and have passed through death. We remember this day Neville Spore, Thomas Newburn, Alan Hull, Vi McPherson, Hazel Mary Olson, Beryl Mari Butler, and Clarice Jenner. Rest eternal grant unto them, O Lord, and may light perpetual shine upon them. Accept our prayers through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who taught us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We are the body of Christ. And the Spirit is with us. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Please share God's peace. Clean heart, O oh God, and renew a right spirit within me. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. Give to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. For glory and honour be yours always and everywhere. Mighty Creator, ever living God, we give you thanks and praise for your Son our Saviour, Jesus Christ, who by the power of your Spirit was born of Mary and lived as one of us. By his death on the cross and rising to new life, he offered the one true sacrifice for sin and obtained an eternal deliverance for his people. And now we give you thanks because you have called us into the fellowship of James and all your saints and set before us the example of their witness and the fruit of your spirit in their lives. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Merciful God, we thank you for these gifts of your creation, this bread and wine, and we pray that by your word and Holy Spirit, we who eat and drink them may be partakers of Christ's body and blood. On the night he was betrayed, Jesus took bread, and when he had given you thanks, he broke it, And gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup and again giving you thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Drink from this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, shed for you and for many, For the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Therefore, we do as our Saviour has commanded, proclaiming his offering of himself, made once for all upon the cross 
his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming again, we celebrate with this bread and this cup his one perfect and sufficient sacrifice for the sins of the whole world. Renew us by your Holy Spirit. Unite us in the body of your Son and bring us with all your people into the joy of your eternal kingdom through Jesus Christ our Lord, with whom and in whom, in the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, we worship you, Father, in songs of never-ending praise. Blessing and honour and glory and power are yours for ever and ever. Amen. As our Saviour Christ has taught us, we are confident to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. We who are many are one body, for we all share in the one bread. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Jesus, bearer of our sins, have mercy on us. Jesus, Redeemer of the world, grant us your peace. The gifts of God for the people of God. Come, let us take this holy sacrament of the body and blood of Christ in remembrance that he died for us and feed on him in our hearts by faith with thanksgiving. body of Christ, keep me in eternal life. The blood of Christ, keep us in eternal life. Let us pray. God, the source of all holiness, may we who have shared at this table as strangers and pilgrims on earth be welcomed with James and all your saints to the heavenly feast of your kingdom. Father, we offer ourselves to you as a living sacrifice through Jesus Christ our Lord. Send us out in the power of your spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. God give you grace to follow James and all the saints in faith and hope and love and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen.